Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another pre-recorded episode of Anything But Politics. My name is Jim Altman, hasn't changed since last week, and as always, I'm here with... Christian Rollman. Been the same since day one, baby. I don't change. Same. I don't change. And we... What does change, though? We, we talked about the fact that you'd like a nickname. You'd like a different name altogether, but... Uh, I it, do. Just, I want nothing really works Coffee Spice Jonathan. No, it doesn't. That's why my new name is Coffee Spice Jonathan. Um, no, the, uh, what does change is the, the word every week. And I, I actually really appreciate this week's word. That was good. Thank you. And now, now it might seem a little bit off kelter just because, uh, the week after we did the live stream is, which is technically time of recording. We are releasing an episode today that was pre-recorded. However, just to Long time ago. give a little bit of clarity that was supposed to come out the day that we did the live stream, which at uh, time of listening would have been two weeks ago. Uh, it, it's a whole ordeal, and honestly, I'm not that bothered by it. But just know that since nah. our live stream, which was episode 25, uh, this, episode 27, is the first session of recording we've had since. And Woo! it's, it, it feels it, good. it's felt like ages. Oh, it feels amazing. And it, and it feels like it's been, uh, we said when we joined the call, it's like, God, it, it's, feel, it's felt like forever since we've done this. Yeah, because last week didn't feel like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, is, is it, it was a completely different feel. Yeah, and, and we both liked it. And I I think before we kind of go into things, I'll mention that we are interested in doing more live streams. I, I, I think we all yes. kind of came to the terms that we really liked that. And uh, it's the beginning of a new month. It is the beginning of May at time of recording. And... Uh, if we want to go ahead and announce that we'll start doing it, if you're free on the 27th, Christian. Yeah, I believe so. Should be. Maybe. Ooh, I need to... Th when am I leaving for Florida? I think I'm leaving on the 29th for Florida. Nice. How long are you so going to be So we should be good on the 27th. Uh, about five days. Nice. We'll, we'll find we'll, something. Yeah, we'll, Seth will come Yeah, in. we'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so... What we'd like to do is have one live stream a month just to talk to everybody and uh, have a little live event and just chill in, in a way that's much less uh, structured and, you know, uh, compressed for time. Yeah. Uh, we decided on the fact that we would never replace it with an episode like we did. Episode 25 is an actual live stream. These live streams aren't going to be quote unquote episodes. They probably won't be uploaded to... Uh, Anchor or any audio service really you won't hear them on any audio only platform like Apple Music or Apple Podcast app uh, you'll be seeing those exclusively on YouTube where we will be live streaming so if you listen audio only but are interested in hanging out with us live and and, and bullying us live uh, you, you can do so by finding the link in the description to our YouTube channel and you can go follow us there, subscribe there Hells yeah. Hells yeah. But since that live stream one week ago, uh, <laughs> what's been up? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So many things have happened this week that <laughs> are just amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with, it all began last week when I got a, a comment on TikTok. Someone commented on a TikTok video of mine yeah. um, saying, hey, you kind of look like Ellie from The Last of Us. Okay. Which is like a weird I don't really weird see. Weird one, it. yeah. I don't see it either. My game. sisters do. Game. Yeah, my sisters said very much so, and I've had some other people be like, "Oh yeah, I do see it." I do not. Um, I do not. Yeah, I don't see Grown it. Grown up Ellie but, from Last of Us Part 2, young Ellie from yeah, Part 1. I, I don't think they're see talking it. about grown up. Yeah. Yeah. But I got that, so I was like, okay, whatever, that's cool. I'll take it, whatever. And then that night, I get to, I get to, a, I do, I'm doing a delivery, mm -hmm. and I deliver to somebody's house, and it's this uh, grandmother, and she looked at me and said, who is it? And I said, it's Domino's. And she was like, oh, and she turned around to her grandchild and said, the pizza lady's here. No! Yeah, she said the pizza lady. That's me. The pizza lady. <laughs> it's And then and then the next day, this one's the best. I deliver 
to someone's house mm -hmm. and it's these teenage boys and they were like i knocked at the door and they were like who is it and i said it's domino's and i hear them whispering and they're going dude it's a girl it's a girl <laughs> guys guys shut up shut up it's a girl it's a girl who's answering it and someone was like, and one of the one of them was like i'll answer it i'll answer it it's it's a, it's a girl and they're like yeah, yeah yeah it's a girl and they open up the door and i was like hey, hey. and they were like they went oh the amount of disappointment in their voice i'll never ever forget they're just like oh oh hey because then you can't be like oh i thought you were a girl they had to be like oh 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 hey yeah <laughs> but it, it, it was all okay because they complimented my kicks so it's it's it's, it's nice, all good we go. we ended on good terms there yeah go. but it's just i don't know what was what was going on this week but that's three that's three that's three in a week Three in a week, not to mention the amount of time, but this, I mean, I always get camp called ma'am on the phone. That I understand. It's through a phone, you know, it's hard to tell. But right there, looking at me, calling me the pizza lady, or right across, right outside a door, saying, it's a girl, it's a girl. I mean, 27, I don't know, 27 man. episodes of this podcast, you'd think that I'd know your voice by now, and just, I, yeah. I cannot imagine how it can be confused with a woman's voice. Is it high? I don't know. Yes, it is on the I higher guess, side of yeah. the male register. You are a tenor sure. true and true. Yeah. But feminine? I wouldn't I wouldn't mark it there. I wouldn't. Same. I also don't talk in my lowest like if I were to talk in my lowest register, it would be more down here. Yeah. But I talk I talk more up here. I talk in about the mid-range. Yeah. Um I'm not. I'm not going crazy, but I'm just right here. That's where nice I talk. That, that is exactly where I talk. Yeah. Is right there, <laughs> like a cartoon. Yeah. No. That. That's how I. Achieve. What's up, guys? It's Christian. I sound like one of those YouTubers, like the that cater to children, but they shouldn't. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian here, and today we're going to be doing a podcast. That's what that sounds like. I don't know why they do that voice. That's exactly what it sounds I like. I go high for the energy things. Just, hello, everybody. <laughs> I mean, if I did that low, I'd yeah. just sound like Markiplier. Hello, everybody. Like, give him one of those. Oh, you would. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't like but the yeah, higher. So that... I'm going to turn on my... Hey, YouTube, I'm turning on my light. There we go. Ooh. The sun's headed down, so it got dim. Yeah, it is It is starting to go. We're recording pretty early today. Light. Yes, uh, 6 o'clock. I don't mind it. Gives me Yeah, 6 o'clock. Gives me time to uh, play some games tonight. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, my, uh, my sister's having a... Shout out to my sister. She just turned 18 today. She's having a birthday party, so I had to get back over there before they do cake. Happy birthday, Shay! Woo! Happy birthday, Shaylin! 18! Wow. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. Your brother is old as shit. Right. <sighs> yeah, man. Time flies. Time does. We were just looking... Before the episode started, we were just looking at pictures from when Christian and I met because I was astounded that uh, Shay had turned 18. And I, I remember... Yeah. It was the last night that we had seen each other. It was closing night. Uh, th this was the night that was followed by, wh where did we go to eat? IHOP? I think it would have been IHOP, yeah. I think we had IHOP that night. I Anywho, think. It was the last night of the show, and uh, you wanted a picture with Shay and her friend. So uh, uh, you got me to take the picture, and I still have it on my phone. Yep. So I sent that, and we determined that she would have been 15 in that photo. And I'm 21 15, now, yeah. and I feel old. Yeah, yeah, I feel old as shit, man. Yeah, three, four years, man. Four, four will do it to yeah, you. Four's it, all you need. It does. Yeah, it it does it does a work into your body. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a lot of basketball this week, and like, I t yes, uh, today's Thursday. Yesterday I was like, no, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Yes. Sorry. Today I was like, I need a fucking break. I'm my tendons are dying. I can't I can't be like I used to be. Like I don't know how I used to even attempt to dance yeah yeah i can't even imagine trying to go back and doing that now i would injure myself immediately mm -hmm. yeah the body just goes man it really does it really do be going uh let's see it really do be going <laughs> uh since the last episode i think you all will uh love to hear that i've had car trouble <laughs> <laughs> oh has boy been, we're getting back into cars this been going on for a straight month you pretty much do. We just keep talking about cars, and I love it because I know nothing about it's cars. It's something new Go every ahead. episode. Rip and, it. And this one, right? Uh, so I, I come home from my dental appointment, which update for everyone that uh, definitely wasn't interested, but you're a captive audience. So ha. Um, <laughs> no update. It wasn't three teeth. It wasn't. It was one. 
I went in, they're like, hey, do, what? what are we doing today? And I was like, well, as far as I can remember, we're, uh, I had one tooth pulled last time and now I've, uh, I've come back to take care of like three more. He's like, okay, I'll look at your notes. He looked at the notes. He's like, we only have one written down. And I was like, okay. And he was like, well, I'll check what? before we do it just to make sure. He did a thorough inspection and he was like, yeah, only one needs to be pulled. So, uh, wow. yeah, that's like, oh, don't try and do math, Jim. It's only like the first part of the show. Uh, we haven't even rolled the intro. Don't try and do math, Jim. <laughs> I'm going to say three times better. I'm not worried about the actual mathematical number here. <laughs> That's like three times better. Oh, yeah, it sounds right. Having one yeah. ripped out of your mouth than three. Um, so you're a mouth half full type of guy, not a mouth half empty. Yeah, I try to look on that side. Um, yeah. So I, I, I had that taken care of and I was on my way home from that. And I get home. I try to put the car in park car won't do that uh my shifter is stuck between drive and neutral and those are the only two gears i can have it in so i uh call my buddy noah and i ask him how to fix it and i love the honest truth of mechanics as an art and as a science is really just fuck with it until you figure it out yeah so he was like i don't know man yep. jiggle it so i jiggled it <laughs> until uh shit happened and when shit happened uh, I was able to move it out of uh, drive and neutral. I was able to move it a, wow. a lot more fluidly. The only thing was it wouldn't go into park. So now I can shift into yeah. every gear but park. And uh, now Yikes. park's an important gear because uh, it sure is. Uh, you can't you can't turn off your car unless it's parked. Mm. So don't you have a parking brake like one of those yeah, emergency no, 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 brakes? No. You can e brake, but the thing is, a lot of car. Oh. If your car is past the year two thousand, go ahead and assume that uh, the ignition and off maneuvers yeah. of your car are completely computerized. The things that ah. go into being able to turn your key all the way to the off position include hitting your brake, shifting to park, and letting off your mm. brake. Only true. then. Can you shift all the way to off? Otherwise, the computer will only let you shift it to, like, uh, the, the accessories, the electrics. It'll turn off your Damn. engine, but your lights will still be on. And that's bad for a whole other reason. Yeah, it sure is. Anywho, brought it home to Pop. And uh, Pop got it taken care of. He's like, okay, it'll shift into everything As now. Pop does. As Pop do. Pop Pop had a... Pop. For those that don't know, <laughs> little trivia for some of you that might. Uh, Pop had a auto mechanic store in Florida for many, many years. Uh, mm, Pop do be fixing Pop things. Pop do be fixing things. So he, so he, pop, pop, he popped it. He went pop. And uh, <laughs> the, the, it, it now shifts into everything. But the ongoing issue was that it now still wouldn't, the key wouldn't turn all the way to off. It would only turn to the electrics. So the fuck? brought it back to Pop's. And uh, over the weekend, while uh, my wife and I were out of town, he got it taken care of. And now everything's good. It'll turn to off. It'll shift into good. every gear. And uh, th th no parts had to be bought, actually. Hey, thanks, no Pop. Thanks, Pop. Yeah, no new Big parts. Big ups to Pop. That's huge. That That is huge. I, I was worried about uh, whatever I'd have to end up buying from that. But it, the, the answer was nothing. It was just like I, I didn't have my car for a week, pretty much. I was driving nice. my dad's for a little bit, and then I was driving my mom's a little bit. Uh, so yeah. I'm just I'm car hopping. <laughs> car hopping, that's good. Have you ever noticed, Jim? Because I was actually going to talk about cars as well. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Have you ever noticed, Jim, that every mechanic shop, the 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 parking lot is like the most run down, pothole infested, bumpy, pure gravel, bumpy, no asphalt awful yeah every single one yeah so that when you inevitably have to enter the mechanic place you destroy your vehicle on the way in and they're like oh no they're hoping you that like yeah th you destroyed last, your tires <laughs> it's their Sorry, last ditch effort to <laughs> yeah have some knock something out of place yep oh no your tires got fucked up on the way in here damn four hundred dollars i meticulously placed that pothole there on my own with a shovel <laughs> And if you hit it at For just real. the right angle, going like eight miles an hour, <laughs> uh, your carburetor just comes disconnected. It's gone. Instantaneous. It's over. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that just, I know because I, I had to take my car in again today. Awesome. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I drove it in and um, 
I got into the I went into their the the parking lot and I was like, oh my god, it's about to fall apart. This car is about to fall apart. Mm-hmm. It is all gravel. It's little itty bitty rocks, which is what gravel is. I don't know why I didn't explain <laughs> what gravel is, but it's gravel. Yeah. And it's crazy holes and bumps and everywhere. I had to go like two miles an hour over all of it. Mm-hmm. And it still was like, yeah, just like that. It made those exact noises. Mm-hmm. It's very frustrating. And then I walked in and he was like, hey, hey, did any, is, any, is there anything wrong? <laughs> did something happen to your vehicle? He's just itching, itching to, to make me pay $400. Yeah. But it ended up being okay. Just my rotors were out. Nice. You know, it, it's rotors, man. Quick fix. Oh yeah, quick cheap fix. Rotors are rotors. So but anyway, <laughs> but anyway, car car troubles aside, uh, mm-hmm. uh, trust me, I have no doubt in my mind we will be talking about it on next episode. So make sure to uh, for that. It comes in just. It, it happens organically, man. It We're not really trying to force does. it. It just I, happens. I, I feel like the floodgates have opened in the sense that. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't talk about. <sighs> in the sense that. Um, <laughs> Fucking, you, you know, you don't have a problem with your car for years. You don't right. even think about the fact that, like, sometimes cars break down. You don't even nope. think about that shit. One nope. problem happens with your car. You're like, oh, my gas is empty. I should fill that up. Ten problems with your car. <laughs> Starter's out of alignment. Your shifter's fucked. Your radio's oh, upside down. It's all backwards. My God, and you know what that you know what that makes me end up doing what whenever the check engine light comes on i'm like i will deal with this when i start to feel the problem i'm not gonna deal with I it when it tells me there's a problem. The problem before <laughs> yeah, i'll address I need its to ex- existence yeah i need to experience the issue before i can even think about going to get it fixed because mm-hmm. i know the second i get it fixed they're gonna be like hey i know you came in for this one thing but we figured we'd also fix nine fix nine other things that's the thing. So, is it, if you're on, for the, your if convenience. You're on the more pessimistic side of, oh, if I bring it to a mechanic, they're going to fake a lot of issues anyway. Yep. G- g- f- give them a lot of issues to deal with. Give <laughs> yeah. them the mechanic's dream. Put it off. Don't even give them the chance to lie. <laughs> he, he's going to like look around for a lie and just be like, yo, this car is just fucked to high heaven. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm surprised you could drive it in today. <laughs> Surprised! I'm surprised I didn't see you pushing it into the into the parking lot today. What isn't wrong with your vehicle? I'll pay I just you haven't gotten an oil change in like years. I just feel bad at this. Point. <laughs> right? Oh God! Yeah, car things, man. It's never ending. It is never ending. And uh, from that, from those exciting things, and the, hey, there's more that's <laughs> happened this week that we have to talk about. But we're going to talk about oh, that yeah. after we go ahead and roll the tape. What do you say, buddy? Let's roll it, baby! Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, everybody. This is Jim and Christian. And you're listening to Anything But Politics. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot, because, like, we have to dance again. Fuck Fuck yeah! yeah. Oh, ow. (laughs) I drank too much coffee. Hello, hello, and welcome back from that. Ooh. From that. Feels good to dance. It does feel good to dance again, brother. So, let's see. Uh, other things that have happened uh, this week, I, I, I went halfway across my state. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I, How was I, that? I drove halfway across my state. It was like a four hour drive there. Stayed in a hotel that drives. night. That was excellent. Um, and then, of course, I had a meeting <laughs> the next day and drove four hours back that day. So in 24 hours, I drove eight. And uh, that'll that'll did, tire you out fast. Yeah. Did anything interesting happen at the hotel? I'm really upset you brought it up, Christian. So let's <laughs> go ahead and dive into it. We um, don't have to. We can wait if you were planning something. No, 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 no. It was, it, it was definitely a traumatic experience. And really what's tried to happen is I've tried to wash it out of my head. But uh, <laughs> seeing as how you're this ever fucking looming presence over over my <laughs> over the darkness of my past, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and... Uh, Start getting into the, the, the tale of oh my God. Uh, w- w- what's happened at this hotel uh, on something that I wanted to deem as a vacation. You know, we were in this city because we, we had to be for immigration. I think we discussed this. Mm-hmm. And that that's a very formal event. And there's a lot of stress that comes with immigration meetings. So Absolutely. I wanted to make sure that my wife felt comfortable, brought her to a nice hotel, put her up somewhere comfy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and that's exactly what I did. I wanted to get her something she wanted to eat. I was like, "Baby, you could pick anything." 
<clears throat> she was tired. We just had the four hour car ride. So she, she didn't want to like venture out, which I totally understand. Yeah. We had plenty of time the next day before the meeting to like go out and do stuff. But we had just gotten there and it was past eating time. So we were like, we yeah. need something and we need it now. And both of us are tired as hell. She's like, let's just DoorDash something. And yeah, I wasn't worried about it. My biggest fear with DoorDash was the fact that I was going to, you know, order something that we know. That's the thing is uh, we were so tired and, and anxious that we didn't want to try something new. We wanted to make sure that whatever we got, we could just mm, eat that. Yeah. Uh, so, so we ordered KFC, uh, a classic that hasn't been discussed on this channel for, I say too long. Yeah. The Colonel baby. We have, we, we got to get back on the Kern. We got to get back on the Kern. We've been off the Kern <laughs> for too long, off the cuff and off the Kern. Uh, but, but we need to get back into that guy's life because he's, he, he, he must be going through it. He, he's oh going yeah. Through. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a challenge for the Kern. It really has been. And honestly, uh, I can tell because we it shows worst that i imagined was that we ordered it we order like two meals and two drinks and you know with doordash fees it's going to be like 95 bucks like that's the word <laughs> I mean, yeah because doordash does that shit um they sure do so i go on and i order it and here's what i order i order like a i order a a fill up give me eight pieces of chicken uh four biscuits a side and then I also uh, put two sauces for me and two sauces for her on there. So the bucket yeah. meal itself it's a meal. is its own listing. It's one thing. It's an entree. Or it's yeah. a whole meal. So there you go. There's that. And then the sauces are, for some reason, individual. So there were four more <laughs> things on my ticket. Oh. Okay. And the side that I picked was mashed potatoes and gravy. Because, man, when I tell you, when I think about KFC... My favorite mm. thing is like thinking about the fact that I'm holding a piece of chicken in one hand. And this is true blood in American speak right here. Uh, I'm <laughs> holding the chicken leg in one hand and I take my biscuit in the other and I dip it mm. in the mashed potatoes and gravy and I'm just whole hogging it. I'm living life. Yeehaw, baby. Ye fucking ha. I, I, I'm, you know, me and the Kerner are having a romantic candlelit dinner <laughs> at this point. Oh, yeah. And, and now here's the problem that occurred. Uh, they, they get to the door. They drop it off. I bring the food in. We have eight pieces of chicken. No sauce, no biscuits, and dry ass mashed potatoes with no gravy. And I thought I had gone insane. I thought that maybe four hours on the road fucking did it to me. And, and, and that maybe I've just died and this is hell. So I checked my phone. And I checked my little e-receipt. And no, no, no. I, I, I ordered the four sauces, which all have an upcharge. And I, I, I definitely did order... Uh, the gravy with the mashed potatoes. Those are two separate options. Mm -hmm. There's a drop down list and you can click uh, mashed potatoes or you can click mashed potatoes and gravy. I did hit the plus gravy, uh, which is also an upcharge, by the way. And of course then, it is. Uh, you, you know what isn't an upcharge? The four what? biscuits that are fucking included in the meal. No biscuits. Three biscuits, okay. Aw. Two biscuits, we need to have a stern talk. Uh, Colonel flipped me over bent me over and just did me dirty did me raw and i didn't like that oh yeah you know i no condom I, for the kern no condoms for the kern and honestly that's a problem the you don't want a know, condomless the kern. colonel knows how to stay safe and be protected <laughs> but he threw all that to the fucking wind when he decided to take more than half the shit from my order specifically the stuff he knew i was excited about he knew that Aww. that's what I needed in my life and in my tummy. <clears throat> and he took that from me. Along with my innocence. Uh, I don't think I'll be the same again. How do you mess up that bad? Yeah, I've noticed, I've noticed like, your vibe is different, man. You've gone through it. I've never had an order go that wrong. <laughs> it's really wrong. <laughs> that's really bad. I, I don't... Yeah, I can't think of any time anybody has ever fucked up an order that horribly. So much has to go wrong on purpose in order for that to happen. Oh, and they're fucking cowards too because I work in the food industry. I worked. That's yep. what I meant to say. I worked in the food industry. I worked at Sonic Drive-In for three years. I know years. how DoorDash and restaurants work. Yep. 
So I, I, I called the restaurant and I'm like, hey, you fuck. fucked up. <laughs> Bad. Like, like <laughs> this wasn't like, a, oh man, I forgot my sauce. This was like a, you missed vital parts of the thing you made me pay for. Yeah, you missed food. There's missing sauces or utensils yeah, or plates or whatever. Oh, yeah, you missed yeah, yeah. Ordered, food. We're in a hotel. We don't have <laughs> plateware or cutlery. Yep. So there's yep. a free option that you can tick. And it says, include plates. And I said, please. I clicked it. And again, I checked on my e-receipt. I did say add plates. They didn't send shit. Nope. They didn't even send spoons. I had to eat my mashed potato. You know the cardboard lid that they put on the bucket to keep the chicken warm? But all it fucking does is make them sweaty, which ruins the point of having an extra crispy recipe for your chicken when it's just soggy shit by the time I get it. Uh, Due to your poor bucket design, I had to uh, rip that cardboard lid off the bucket and bend it into like a horseshoe shape. And I attempted eating it that way for two minutes before I gave up and ate it like the fucking dog I am. I just lifted the bowl of mashed potatoes to my face and ate it. And I've never felt greater shame. I call the restaurant. was fucking you in the ass. I call the restaurant and I'm like, hey man, uh... Like, I, so I worked in food, right? I don't mention it to that guy because that's an asshole thing. Like, hey, man, I know how this shit works. <clears throat> Never do that yeah. to anyone ever. No, no, no one just, likes that. Just take the knowledge that you have from working in food and apply it to the situation. Don't try to, yes. don't try to humanize Leverage. it. Don't, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't try to get on personal with him. So I call them and I'm like, hey, I just ordered on DoorDash and, uh, Y'all fucked up. Bet. No, I didn't say that. But that's essentially yeah. the way I I was like, I ordered this, 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 and this. And it was missing all of this. But first things first. I don't care. I know. Here's the thing. I'm staying in a hotel very, very close to an international airport. I'm talking about that airport was probably like a five minutes drive from the hotel. International Damn. airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, stayed, I put her somewhere nice. Uh, so Hell yeah. So, I know that they must have a metric fuck ton of orders. <laughs> but yeah. if I list you exactly what we got, you should not have to ask for my name. You can literally look it up on your DoorDash system and see who ordered that. Especially if it was in the last half hour, because it was. Yeah. If I'm saying, hey, I, I just got my food and it's shitty, you know I didn't order five minutes ago. You know I didn't order two <laughs> hours ago. There's a window here that you could have searched, especially because I listed all my food. But then he goes, what's your name? And I give him, and this is where I made my mistake. I gave him my billing information. I said, the name on the card is James. <laughs> and he went away for a moment, came back and said, we ain't got shit on James. James can fuck himself. The colonel will be visiting James tonight. Uh, what he what he actually said was that order must not have happened from this location. It, it might have been oh. the one over on this road, but we don't have an order for James. Can I do anything uh -huh. else for you? I said, uh -huh. no, man, you're fine. I hung up, opened DoorDash immediately, checked my account, and my account is under Jim. So uh. um, a fucking man would have been like, is it, do, do you go by Jim? If, if you tell me your name's James and I'm going through my system and I see a Jim who ordered everything you just said you ordered half an hour ago when you said you ordered it, I'm not going to not bring it up. I'll mention it. Yeah. But he didn't. He just said, we ain't got shit, man. Get Kentucky Fried fucked. <laughs> and I, I did. That's that's exactly what happened. I mean, the the only silver lining to this scenario is you can like report issues on the app and I did. The two issues I was able to report was like there's missing food items and shit was made incorrectly. The missing food <laughs> items was of course the biscuits and the yep. made incorrectly is like it's called biscuits Everything. and gravy. <laughs> By missing the gravy, you've missed half the fucking ingredients. It's in the title. It's in the title. There's biscuits and gravy. It's what I clicked. Yeah, it's not like you missed gravy half falls. the ingredient. I would have been less impressed if you had fucking forgot the potatoes and it was a bowl of gravy. 
I wouldn't have been as shocked. I'd have been like, you know what, fair. But you know what? Dry ass potatoes. I wasn't about to have it. Yeah, because who order? Who orders? You are more likely to order gravy without biscuits. Sorry, gravy without potatoes than you are to order potatoes without gravy. Because I'm a man who enjoys some instant mash potato. You ever have an instant mash? I have. It's probably the best thing you can do instantly. It's it's of the instant food items. Yeah. It is S tier. Yeah, absolutely. There's like instant. Ah, uh, ramen. I went into that with so much confidence. What instant foods <laughs> you, are there? You got you, you got like instant noodles and instant rice and like instant you got instant coffee, but that's Yeah, that that's the count. thing. Instant coffee is like D tier. Horrific. Horrifically terrible. Yeah. We should so, do a so, tier list so, of instant so stuff. Instant products. We'll do a tier list in another episode. Yeah. But <laughs> <clears throat> instant mash it's just those flakes out of a box you mix oh, yeah. it with some water boom you've got you've got those lumpless mashed potatoes and some people like lumps but you've got them smooth mashed potatoes stick some Wait. butter in it you get stick, rid of those lumps quick stick some butter in it man so, oh so dude yeah they 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 you know that's what kfc uses you can tell there is there <laughs> yeah understandably is a difference between real potato and instant mash and one yeah. of the things about instant mash is that it is only one. It is only like a quarter of a degree of separation between instant mash and Play-Doh. <laughs> if you yeah. don't get the water like just right, like I don't know how they yeah. prepare it at KFC. I don't Who know knows? the industry standard, but like when I make it at home, it's literally just add water, hot water. Yeah. So it's really hard to fuck up. But if you extremely to do so, uh, yeah, you can pick it up. You can throw it around. You can make little shapes and you can just do that. And that was the consistency of my mashed potatoes sans gravy. Gross. It Ugh. was the, it was one of the worst culinary experiences I've had in my life. And it was, it's, it's just such a damn shame that the Colonel had to do it to me. Yeah. It's an abomination. After we have, we have, we have praised him on this podcast. We he have, has we, been a topic of conversation multiple him. times. We oh yeah, we really sexualized him. He is we vitalized yeah, him. We absolutely. And to turn it turn it on us and and give you that experience. Mm -hmm. I just have no respect for the man anymore. Yeah, no accountability from his head of staff or really whoever nope. ordered. I didn't ask for a manager. It could have been like Greg who was hired 3 days ago who I got yep. on the phone. Yeah, true. It probably wasn't a manager. He doesn't know how DoorDash works. You know, nope. everyone else is out on a smoke break. He's running the store alone. He's terrified. He, he answers the phone. He's like, can I help you? And I'm like, you can. And he was like, I don't want to. And he hangs up. <laughs> he doesn't know how names work. He doesn't understand names that can be different. Yeah, yeah. James and Jim. He doesn't. James he, and Jim. He didn't get it. And No, he doesn't understand. So I reported both of those things. And the silver <laughs> lining in all of this is that um, I did fired. get like a really good refund. Uh, good. That is good. Yeah, I got you I got it. over half of my total money back, um, and I think. Let's see. I paid. I want to call it that I paid about. Uh, I'm gonna say I ended up paying about twenty five percent of the total cost. I got sixty percent refunded, and then the that last remaining percent that I don't have the mental capacity because I'm just so traumatized. <laughs> to uh, calculate right now was uh, given back to me in like DoorDash credit. Oh, which great. I don't mind. I don't, I don't oh. mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm here's the thing. Here's the thing that sucks. I'm going to use it again. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. You gonna drive. Exactly. You just drove for four hours. Are you going to go to the, yeah. you know, place that's right down the road and just bring it to my door. Just bring it to me. I'm. It's 2021. Why do I have to get up? Right. Yeah, I'm with you. Of course you're going to use it. No matter how shitty an experience. That's like we delivered to somebody this week and she was like, I let them. They We fucked it up. We completely fucked it up. She was like, let them know that I will not be ordering Domino's ever again. And I was like, okay, we'll do. Um, she ordered two days later. <laughs> it's like you, you say like all this shit that. Like, it's a horrible experience. I'll never do it. You're going to do it within the week. Especially 100%. if you get it delivered. Because then there's that like, oh, I know this house. And then it's the, it's the, yep. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> the same me? guy that does your route every week. 
Yeah, remember me? Because I remember you. <laughs> I remember you. Yeah, I do. I, ju- I, I just watch said. her open the door and just be like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry for bothering you. I think this must be a mistake. It's <laughs> like, an old order. I... Someone misordered. You misclicked. Yeah. This is Domino's. I... You know that. Because, yeah. Because I heard you were never going to order from here ever again. And so this can't be yours, right? This can't be yours. You There's wouldn't. There's no way. Your, <laughs> your concrete morals would never yeah. allow you. So, so I'm gonna let take me this back. step foot on your porch again. Yeah. She's like, no, no, it was my son. It was my son. I promise. I promise. Uh, I didn't order it. Tell it I to the colonel, dignity. bitch. <laughs> Tell it to the colonel. And his dry potatoes and sweaty chicken in his <laughs> poorly designed, unaerodynamic bucket. I really have not had KFC in a long time. Probably because of those reasons. I, like... Tell you what, no, actually, their new chicken sandwich ain't half bad. It's actually really good. Really? Yeah, I, I'll give credit where credit's due. It. Colonel fucked oh. me, but like, uh, I think about him. Damn it, if his chicken ain't good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I, 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 I keep thinking about it. Um, Speaking of things that I can't shake at night, uh, <laughs> I keep seeing possums, man, everywhere. They're really? everywhere. Yes, I didn't notice them before. They're fucking everywhere. I see at least three or four every weekend, just running around. One, I I was driving the other night, and one ran across the street with a squirrel in its, in its mouth. Mm-hmm. I, uh, it's horrifying. I, we we it's saw one infested. on the way. We saw one on the way to where we were headed, and it was <sighs> dead. It was dead on the road. Oh, and it okay. was like, it was like two hours from where I live, and that means that it's two hours away from where you live because I was headed in the opposite direction from where you live. Um, so we see it, oh. and Mimi is very empathetic, so she gets sad. She goes, "Aw." No. It's dead. And I was like, yeah. Good. And she was like, Christian did this. <laughs> and I was like, babe, we are, we're two hours away from home. Maybe three. Yeah. Which means we are like seven, eight hours <laughs> away from Christian right now. And she goes, Christian did this. I don't know how, I caught a but flight. he did this. I caught a, f- no, I took out a hit. Yeah, I hit up one of my guys and was like, "I need you to take care of something for me." You've got <laughs> operatives all over the country. I do. Yes, you have to in order to be the biggest possible little, extinguisher in the land. Little do the they land. know it, but all of the listeners to this podcast are sleeper agents, and they only need to hear a select few words in order to go full uh, mm-hmm. uh, possum death mode. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why we're okay with like you listening in your car on your way to work because like <laughs> we'll just throw those words out. And uh, you'll just swerve and hit any possum you see. Any possum, even if it's already dead, just to make sure. Just to double tap. Yeah, can never be too careful. Back never up even. Careful. You're on the highway. You reverse, you, you run one that, over. Throw that shit in reverse. Yeah, slam it and slam the brakes and hit that hit that reverse. I almost said reverse button. Shift it into reverse, and just destroy him. Make sure he's one with the road. Yeah. Make sure you can't distinguish the road. If you from feel the, possum. the bump. You gotta double tap <laughs> until you just drive over. No. My wife's <laughs> about to cry. I just looked over. I'm sorry. We can stop. <laughs> oh shit! Very, very empathetic. Oh man, and it's a very good trait. You know what? I'm empathetic towards the creatures that possums kill. That's why I hate possums so much. I'm empathetic towards people. I think I'm really gonna vibe with the <laughs> fact that we're hopping on a trend of uh really shitty segues and I vibe with that. So Yeah, I like it. In terms of empathy, I cried this morning watching a TikTok. Uh oh, because Jim someone word. was very happy. I think we went over episodes ago, like fucking ages ago, that like I'm an empathetic happy crier. If yeah. you're sad crying, uh I I freeze. I freak the yeah. fuck out. I'm like, I don't know how to deal with this situation. But if like yeah. people are so happy that it brings them to tears or just like, even if they don't cry, if they're just like so happy that it's a beautiful moment, I will, I will shed tears. Yeah. I can get there too. Depends on that. the thing, but yeah. I saw a TikTok of like oh. a woman, like a grown woman who has a grown child, um, like being to Disney world for the first time. <laughs> and uh being to like the star wars section of it Aww. and she got to like build her first lightsaber oh and like she was she was overwhelmed like she had no words that's so you know cute. she was tearing up 
uh, just being growing up a Star Wars fan in a time where like just technology has advanced exponentially not linearly and it never has yeah absolutely. Uh, uh, technology is a pure exponential curve <clears throat> because as we create new technology we can literally teach that technology to produce better technology better than technology. we could Yep, exactly. We're like, this computer can literally operate faster than the human head. Ergo, I can turn on this machine. And if I could think about the next big, you know, like advancement in processing in, a, you know, a month's time in one week, this will tell us exactly how to make the next processor. And then we'll yep, use that processor crazy. to make the next machine and so on and so forth. Because what you had back in, let's see, if my dad was born in the late 50s, then he would have been like the like my age in like 20 after late 50 we're talking late 70s in the yeah. late 70s what did you have in terms of like the cutting edge technology of the 70s y'all don't have cd roms yet cds came in the 80s did i mean had do you count like music players like did walkmans come out when did those come out 80s those are cassette players so i think they're heavily associated with the 80s but maybe not have come came maybe not. out then uh, Walkman release year release yeah Walkman release date not the UK what the fuck <laughs> my wife's been using my computer uh, <laughs> uh, 1979 yeah there you go the 80s so yeah so yeah late 70s yeah so that's like <clears throat> cutting edge technology is the I Walkman. can walk with music now yeah I can I, take I, music is portable for the first time ever pretty much I can, I can go for box. a jog and listen to music and yep. if I'm jogging too hard and my body kind of bounces, the cassette kind of moves in there and warps the sound of the music. But, but it's, it's really okay. easy. It's much better listening to like a fucking warped up It's Not Unusual by <laughs> by Tom Jones than I it is listening to, I don't know, birds. Yeah, exactly. And also it helps you. It helps your stride be more um, smooth. Even. Yeah, it helps even your yeah. stride. I've, I've had people stopped running and started like walking. Yeah, well, like that's what, it wasn't the called the Runman. Yeah, <laughs> or the Jogman. Oh, uh, we went there. We that really shit was the there. Walkman. And, that shit was uh, the pe Walkman. People slowed down in the eighties. Yeah. They just said, you know what, we're just gonna take it a nice even pace, so my music doesn't get fucked up as I walk. Yo, I don't know if you can get slower than the seventies, so I don't know if they slowed down for the eighties. Yeah, I mean, seventies was pretty anywho. slow. Um, true, true. But so eighties so, had like. That synth pop, oh, 80s shit had that like excellent music, dude. The eighties is by far. Me and my dad were actually talking about this. So, what is your favorite decade of music? Oh my god, while we're here, don't do that shit to me. I know, right? Um, truth is, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. You know how sometimes they're like, "Hey, have you heard this artist?" And I'm like, "No." Uh, sure. You never say no. You're like, "Yeah, I've heard of them," and then the conversation yeah, continues because you do yeah. you just don't want to fall down the rabbit hole of no. And it's like, oh, oh okay. Uh, or they're like, oh, let me show you. I really don't want to listen to music like right now, man. Oh, I'm yeah, the, we're, we're having a conversation. Please don't show me music. Yeah. yeah. Not the time. So uh, in all honesty, I'll go ahead and take the L on this. I don't really know the the dates of music that I listen to. I'll tell you Fair. my favorite songs, but like, I don't know if they came out in the 2000s or the late 90s or in the 80s. I don't know when they came out. I could probably pinpoint it with some degree of. Well, give me like a top five favorite songs. Of oh like the past. God. Of the past. <laughs> like past songs. Yeah, past songs. Past songs. So, you know, it, it'll fluctuate. It'll change from time to time. Sure, right? sure. Uh, I'm just opening my Spotify to like look at Jimmy's jams. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, what are the ones that have stayed true? Like, I will always come back to this song and listen to it and enjoy it. Um, from in terms of before like I was born. Older songs from before I was born. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot of older songs on here. I've got um, Moving Out. Anthony's song, Billy Joel. Ah, nice. Uh, that's good shit. Yeah, uh, Billy Queen. Joel is a fucking love rock star, Queen. Man. Queen, yeah. Uh, so Killer Queen is on that playlist. Yeah. Uh, so that's really good. Um, those are really the only things on Jimmy's Jams that uh, span past before I was born, which I'm surprised about, honestly. So that you're probably like a like late seventies, early eighties head, like a Billy Joel. Uh, yeah. Queen kind of yeah. vibe. So a decent amount in the seventies. Yeah. Oh, who's the who's the oh, who's it? Kate? Kate what? Um. 
Oh, duh. What's that? What's her name? I have no idea. Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Kate Bush, running up that hill, was in the 80s. Wuthering Heights. When was Wuthering Heights? Is that also the 80s? Kate Bush um, is also fantastic. Um, really? Anyway. I don't know if I've ever listened. Oh, yeah, she's she's great. She's fantastic. So moving out with 77. I'll have uh, to give her a listen for sure. And well, then like 70s Queen? to 80s. Yeah that's, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, because Queen was like beginning of the 80s. So yeah, late 70s to... To early 80s, that's your vibe. Yeah. Um, yeah, because me and my dad were talking. Mine is is pretty similar, that 70s to 80s. Yeah. Like 75 to 85 is probably the best, one of the best decades of music. Yeah. Um, we were talking, because the 90s sucked balls. The 90, 90s music is trash. Like, we looked at the top 100. I don't know. It is mostly garbage. Like, there's a couple really good rap songs in there. There's that's a the couple. Thing. Rap, rap blew in the 90s, like, blew up. Not blew, yeah. like, sucked. Like, no, uh, no, no, it blew up in the nineties and so many good rap songs came out of that. Yeah. The really good, like eighties is where it like started, started and it wasn't great because I don't think rappers had found their, the sound yet, the right sound. Wrong, sir. Wrong. I cannot fucking believe the disrespect going on right now. Christian, you suck. 1979, the Sugar Hill Gang performs Rapper's Delight, the first rap song ever recorded. How the hell are you going to sit there and tell me that this isn't great? That this isn't the right sound? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you deaf? Christian, have you heard this song? Don't you dare go shitting on fire songs like this when they created the industry, Christian. Those of you watching at home right now, go listen to Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. It will change your life. It's so fucking good. I cannot believe that Christian is saying it's not great. It doesn't. It's not the right sound. What the uh, fuck you, Christian? 90s they found it and 2000s they expanded on it 2000s rap is probably the best rap of all time dude smells like teen spirit nirvana fucking yeah that banger i want it that way that by would, the backstreet boys classic one of yeah, those spice are the girls are you fucking me right now amazing there are a few there are, yeah there are a few Hanson? there are a, <laughs> there are a few good songs what what list are you on I just googled top 100 songs from the 90s. I don't think it's a published list. I don't know what the source is. Can I have a source? Because we did Rolling Stone and that list was trash. Yeah. Living oh, the Vida Loca. Billboard. Baby Got Back. <laughs> Wonderwall. Yes, that was one we, we deemed good. Getting Jiggy but with like, it. Will Smith. That whole <sighs> album. But like we... we there are bangers, but when you go back to the 80s or the 70s or even the 60s, yeah. there's just more. Oops all, there's oops way all bangers. More. Nothing but classics. Oops all bangers, yeah. You really can't find anything that you're like, oh shit, that is, that is, that slaps. Like, I don't know, just 90s pop was, eh. Mm -hmm. No, agreed. Uh, there was the boy band thing. There was the boy band thing, and... Uh, that, like there's definitely some good stuff, but like you go back way back, way back. Like I, I'm a big, uh, I really like Fleetwood Mac. I think they're yeah. just so cool. Um, and that was more like the seventies, eighties vibe. Um, I don't know. I feel like shit went to trash in the nineties mm -hmm. for the most part. Oh, the fucking, uh, the police uh, dude, they never, they could not release a bad song if they tried. Yep. Queen, the, I feel like Queen and the Police are both that way. Where like they could try to write a shitty song and it couldn't happen. Agreed. But yeah, man. No. Uh. Yeah. We were just. I mean, if you're gonna really talk about bad music, the 2000s probably takes the cake. 2000s yeah. music is just really, really hack. Yeah. I think that was the first because because you got to this place where anybody could listen to anything for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. You weren't. People weren't trying to make the radio anymore. I mean, they were to an extent, but really you were just trying to sell songs. So people were just make bands were making a lot. Like you go back to certain bands and they made a like one or two albums a year. Some of them, mm -hmm. um, no matter how they sounded, because all they were trying to do was sell those make like have those two or three singles on each album mm -hmm. pop the fuck off so that people would download them on iTunes. Yeah. I think iTunes to an extent ruined music. Yeah. Um, just because I, th I really think people stopped trying as hard. I mean, I could be talking out of my ass and I am, Yeah. but that's what I feel. 
<laughs> that's what the show is. Don't be like, hey, I might be yeah. talking out of my. This is Jim and Christian talk out yeah. of our ass for a little bit. For 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 hours, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, two thousands music really does suck absolute balls. Well, um, something nineties is bad. Go for it. Uh, on the topic of music, when I was getting my tooth taken yeah. out, which by yeah. the way ended up being a whole endeavor, I didn't really go into the story, and I might another day. Oh um, shit! I'm sorry. No, you're fine. It's just that essentially my roots um, weren't straight. They were very, very curved. So they were like holding on for dear life. And after Ugh. literally like mm, probably half an hour to like 40 minutes of just pulling, we realized that wasn't going to work. So um, they pulled in another doctor. So I had like I ended up having like three people in one room helping me with this. And the like most Damn. the the most experienced, like well learned doctor was like okay so here's what you do when this happens and they ended up having to like saw my tooth into three pieces and take it out root by root mm. yeah it, it ended up being a whole thing i have stitches in my that's mouth. not fun no it was really oh that's awful bad but again one of the best dental experiences i've ever had um because the staff <laughs> was amazing we we were good we were cutting that up helps. and laughing the entire time um, <laughs> good this new place i've been going uh, is better than the last two in the sense of they must have been trying to help with their uh, budget. They just didn't want to buy new numbing agents, so they hardly used any. If I'm uh. like, hey, I don't even feel pain yet, but I'm I'm on the high end of the pressure threshold, you know, it's like, hey, you're going to feel a little pressure. If I'm starting <laughs> yeah. to feel a lot of pressure, I can just throw my hand up. He'll be like, all right, man, here you go. And he'll give me a little more. Nice. So it never gets to the... You never feel a little bit of pain. It's always like, oh, there's yeah. the pressure. Oh, it's getting kind of overwhelming. And then, oh, man, he'll literally hook you well, up that's with awesome. more. And I'm like, it, that's so professional. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so that unprofessional to put how much money you're spending on your shit over yeah. your patients. Anywho, uh, <laughs> yeah. so I'm loving this new place. It's really great. Guy working on good. my mouth goes, uh, Josh, so the radio is playing, and it's on a station. It's on one of those, like, dentist stations, one of those doctor stations where it's, like, yeah. kind of 80s music, 80s, 90s music. Yeah. Uh, you know, stuff that everyone can kind of vibe to. And he's like, man, yeah. they need to play some, like, play some this. And I was like, hell yeah. He was like, you have a good taste in music? Like, what kind of music do you listen to? And I was like, all of it. Aww. And I was like, he was like, oh, really? Come on. When we say all of it, and I was like, no, I mean all of it, like, I've always said yeah. I listen to all music because I do. It's all fucking yeah. good. I've not heard a bad genre of music that I would disclose from like listening to. I listen to to pirate metal and uh, bag step, which is uh, dubstep with but with bagpipes. I listen to every nuanced niche fucking uh, genre out there. of music out there. He's like, all right, you say you listen to all the music. You like small pool? Stop! Get out of town. <laughs> My dentist. <laughs> Get out of town. I was like, yeah. He was like, he took his hands out of my mouth. He went, really? Yeah, dude. Get out of fucking town. That is my favorite band. I know. I know. I, I, I didn't want to be like, well, I didn't want to be like yeah. mid dental surgery and just be like, you know, I have a podcast, but like I was so, I was so <laughs> yeah. pumped. Dude, that's dope. I've never heard anybody mention small pools except for fucking sub radio. That's the thing. When, they were when I said I listened to all music, he was so like not convinced that I was going to know what the hell he was about yep. to say. He was like, you yeah. small pool? And I was like, yeah. And he was oh, like, that's wait dope. a minute. Yeah, and he was so psyched. Oh, so he has, so he's got good, t I want to meet with this guy. <laughs> he's got good taste in music. For being the that's head. That's fire, dude. Like being the head surgeon there, he, uh, he was a younger fella. I'd say like early, really? early forties. Did somebody say get him on the podcast? Oh my god! Can I call the <laughs> fucking doctor and be like, "Do you want to want a guest spot?" As soon as the stitches in my mouth heal up, you want to go ahead and have a <laughs> spot on on the cast? We can talk about music, dude. That would be fire. That would be so so cool. Hello, everybody. And this week we've got an excellent guest, <laughs> Jim's dentist. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, doctor. And I don't know his name. You don't know your doctor, your dentist by name. You don't. You do not at all. Oh, dude, that is so fucking cool. Get him on, man. <laughs> I want to meet this guy. You know what? One, I'll work on it. And uh, two, <laughs> I think it's about that sweet, sweet time in the episode where we go ahead and nestle down and head on over to the money corner. What do you say? Let's let's do it, bro. To the let's money do corner. it. Be right back. Money corner.
Hey, everybody. Uh, so, a little awkward. Uh, Jim and Christian didn't really uh, do a YouTube portion for this week's episode. Um, and, you know, them being them, they asked me to do it for them. Because why not put the work on me? Um, anyway, I'm really hungry right now, and I want to go play Apex with the boys, so I don't really have time for this. So here's a quick little clip from my Twitch channel. I'm on twitch.tv slash welcome to Chili's 619. Go check me out, please. I beg you. Anyway, here it is. He's for sure right behind me, right? This way. Maya. He's right behind me, guys. Jimmy? <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody. Hello. Gosh, I've not got much you left. You said you might have had something? Yeah, I got a quick little story. Uh... Just, just, I, I mean, I hate that they're all delivery stories, but this weekend was nutso. Yeah. So I delivered to this guy. Yes. And, uh, so we had had a canceled order earlier that night. Okay. And, um, the drink got left in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Fair enough. So on my next run, I was like, fuck it. I'll just ask if he wants it. Like who gives a shit? Yeah. Um, we did that. At, so, we did that at, uh, at Sonic. Yeah. If, you know, yeah. none of the employees wanted to eat the food that uh, someone mm -hmm. might have driven off before we could hand it to them. Or yeah. uh, we accidentally make two or whatever. Uh, we, you know, yeah. we, we'd run it out to a customer and be like, hey, guys, thanks for ordering. While you're waiting on your food, uh, you want a fry? Or like you want a yeah, ice exactly. cream cone or whatever? It's just what you do. Yeah. And I'm right now not drinking soda for, for reasons. Yes. And so I couldn't drink it. Usually I would drink it because um, I'm... A bad person but this time i was like hey i'm not gonna just give it back to the store i'm sure someone will want it so i get i i was living to this guy and i was like hey i've got a two liter sprite that got canceled from the last run do you want it it's not opened or anything and he was like yeah i mean sure and i was like cool cool i'll go grab it and i come back and he was like hey thanks by the way do you have any uh garlic and i was like no i don't actually and he was like ah oh, come on man is that what this the story fuck is you about? Mean, come on, you, man! Oh my gosh, are you hurt over the come on, man? No, I just gave him a free. I gave him a free drink. A drink that is usually three dollars. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be nice and give it. And he got pissed off that I didn't have any garlic, which you also have to pay for, by the way. It's fifty cents per garlic cup. And he was pissed off that I didn't have any. Be fucking grateful. I'm an asshole, but I don't give a shit. Be grateful for the food that, for the drink that I gave you. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do that. I could have run it right back to the store and been a good little employee and been like, they didn't want the drink. So I'm going to give it back to the store. Now you guys get to save $3. No, I didn't do that. I decided to be a bad employee for the sake of the customer. And you still got pissed off at me. Well, you don't got the, the whole store in that car. Like if I wanted to order an extra <laughs> pizza right now, you're saying you couldn't hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got I've other pizzas people... in that warmer. I'll I'll pay I'll pay you <laughs> twice what they were gonna pay. I've had people be like, "Hey, you got wings in there? Why would I have wings in here? Did you order? Why wings, would there be, sir? Yeah, it wasn't even a person who ordered. It was just someone else on the street. It's like, hey, you got wings in there? No, dude. Did I said? Did you? Did, are you part of the party that ordered the food? And he was like, No, no I have no idea who ordered. And I was like, well, why would I have wings? I didn't say it. I just said, no, I don't. Because I can't be like, why the? F why would I have wings? I'm not a fucking why would I have wings vendor. That I'm, just... I'm not over here to <laughs> peanuts. Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not an ice cream truck. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. You can't just come up and buy stuff from Domino's. I'm not a representative of the company. Yeah. I just carry the shit that people paid for to them. Why, why? I don't understand what's going through his head where he's like, oh, he probably has extra food in there for some reason. He's probably just driving around with a bunch of extra food probably. Why? Who thinks who thinks that that is even close to possible? So believe it or not, that shit happens all the time and it's really fucking annoying. Don't talk to a Domino's delivery driver if you didn't order food. This is a reoccurring thing. Stop doing that. Also, can we please stop making the joke? Hey, you got any 
You got anything in there for free for me? People will, like, scream that from across the street. They'll be like, hey, hey, I'm the neighbor of the person that you just delivered to. Do you have anything in there for me? No, I don't. And they go, <laughs> it's not funny, man. No one thinks that's a good joke. Zero people think that that's a funny joke. Yeah. I hear it a million times a day. Why do you think you're original? Why is that funny? I don't get that. <sighs> like, I, I don't never get the say joke that, at all. There's no humor to it. None. Where's the, where's is, the, I, where does the funny come from? The fact that you said yeah. free? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you're begging me for food? Is that the funny part? Are you I don't laughing understand. at you begging for food? <laughs> it's a little... So, like, when I worked at a grocery store, it was a little funny when someone would be, like... When, like, I would have trouble scanning like something and they go... Up. Yeah. Yeah, and they go, yeah, that means it's free, right? You know, like, it's <laughs> kind of like a... <laughs> 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 no, yeah. no, it's not. Because also... With the, when people are screaming at me like, hey, do you have anything in the... What do you want? What is the reaction you want from me? Yeah. What am I supposed to say? I've got wings. What is... Yeah, I... I what am I supposed to... All I can say is no. Because you know... It's a joke, supposedly. So you know it's... The answer is no. Yeah. So why are we making the joke? All that's going to come is an awkward response from the delivery driver who's not prepped for this situation. Get the, Stop Get the middle doing finger it. out of the back. <laughs> We oh, should... yeah, I got this for you. Yeah, Hello. I've been keeping this baby warm. <laughs> Just for you. Just for you. It's got your name right on it. Is your name Go Fuck Yourself? No. God, I hate those people. <laughs> I really can't stand them. I can't either. <sighs> Have we talked about whether or not you prefer Domino's or Papa John's? I can't even believe you would utter. I can't even the believe P you would say... The, the PJ word. I can't even believe it. How dare you on this podcast? Are you this, are you this diehard into your career? I am. I actually do struggle ordering from any other pizza chains. I'll get like a pizza from a from like a mom pop, yeah, or like an Italian yeah. or like whatever. That's fine. But I I haven't had pizza from another chain in probably years. Yeah, I've been to a party where they ordered Pizza Hut and I did not eat any food. Dead ass. I can't do it. I feel like I'm cheating. Funnily <laughs> like enough, I'm cheating on my job. Funnily enough, pizza. I think Pizza Hut is like my least favorite pizza place. Yeah, Papa John's is my least favorite, but Pizza Hut is really close. Pizza Hut is trash. When 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 you rank under Little Caesars, your shit's yeah. trash, my guy. Your shit's really bad. Your shit is cardboard cardboard with red. Yeah, like it's not even sauce. It's just the color red. It's so bad. Because like I I will like enjoy like a nice little Caesars when I want a bad pizza. Like if I want <laughs> a bad I'm looking pizza, to have a stomach I'll get a five dollar hot and ready. Because <laughs> you know it's I want to throw up now, good. or else yeah. it'd be called good hot and ready. Yeah. It is two <laughs> no, it's things. Just hot. It's hot and it's ready. That those are the only two <laughs> adjectives that can be described for this pizza. Yeah, little... <laughs> but like I like I do I do enjoy some PJs. Ah, uh, why? What what is the appeal of PJs? A f a fluffier crust. Okay. But in terms of like, here's the thing: going toe to toe, Papa John's has a fluffier mm -hmm. crust. Domino's has a more flavorful crust because of the garlic butter that you uh, uh, brush onto it. It's so wonderful. It's, yeah. Oh, we don't brush. I know. I've seen them do it. It's and a, I don't want to talk about yeah, it. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty It's pretty bad. Because <laughs> when you're in the store, you can see the whole process and you see that part of the process and yeah. you feel like you've seen too much. Um, yeah, we put it on our our dicks and then we spread it across your pizza. That's what we usually do. That's, that's what protocol. Do. Next time you're in your local, uh, your local Domino's, <laughs> Take check a look. it out. It's, they have glass walls. You can watch them do it. Um, yeah, on purpose. We're, we we do it in front of people, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a performative art. So It is. So, yeah, yeah, they have the fluffier crust. You have the more flavorful crust. The yeah. That's fair. I don't know. Sauce. Sauce. Sauce? Man, I can't deconstruct. I'm eating the whole because, pie. I'm not like... Cause... I couldn't give you... Here's a, Here's the thing. Here's a major contender okay. in this for me. I'm not yeah. saying that. Did I already say Papa John's is my favorite? Did I say those words in that order? I think I think you did, but I I I'm leaning we towards have the record, it. I'm and I don't want to. Okay. Uh, but one of the major contenders is the fact that I get a free sauce and a pepperoncini. 
I love spice. Hey man, that's and I love that's that fair. Man. Dude, pepperoncinis are so good. They're so good. They're really good. Cause like I will honestly, I'm gonna I'll concede. I'll give Papa John sauce. I really will. Yeah. But I think our cheese vastly outdoes theirs. Yeah. I and I think our sauce and cheese combo complements itself better than Papa John's. Last time I had Papa John's, which again was years ago. Yeah. The the main thing I remember is that the sauce was quite good, mm-hmm. but the cheese ruined it. The cheese is bad. Just don't get any Papa John's pizza. For the foreseeable future, and when you head over to my neck of the woods and we do some in-person episodes, we will do a uh, a, a live, oh, not a live stream, but like a like a in-person, we'll yeah. order a Papa John's and a Domino's pizza. At I'm the down. same time, on both of our yep. phones, we'll hit go. We'll see who gets it delivered first, how good the delivery people are. I mean, we'll rank it. We'll grade them. Yeah. Knowing that these so people down. aren't solo representatives of the country and that you know right you know it doesn't fucking matter how it goes it, it doesn't speak for everything but that's right, how we'll but, personally rank it yeah it's i mean there's whether it's a data blip or not it's still data yeah da- da- data is data data is indeed data yeah dude i'm fucking down that sounds like a blast we're gonna have a lot of fun um, in person oh i'm so excited for the in-person stuff it's coming soon guys i'm excited it's gonna be a good time i'm excited too i'm fully yeah. vaccinated Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I am working on it. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. It's just a time, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking we, time. We live in different states, and of course, you yeah. know. Shit's different. Shit's different. And that's the yeah. most we can legally say about it. Yep, that's... And, and based on rules of the podcast, not to say that vaccinations are political, but... For some reason, it's close. I don't know. Well, can't I can't go into that. Never mind. Anyway... <laughs> well anyway uh <laughs> let's uh let's go ahead and uh pop this uh, take this out of the oven uh put it back in the oven what would we do to say that this is done <laughs> the episode yeah we would say yeah we'd say a huge thank you to our sponsors today <laughs> and also a huge thank you to Miller and Jamie two people that have uh, kind of pledged monthly donations to the show uh which keep the uh, viewing and listening experience as best as it possibly can be it's a huge support to the show and we love you very much and we'll shout you out at the end of every episode so if you wow, can do you. it and you would like to then what you can do is go ahead to anchor.fm that is a n c h o r . f m slash anything but and that'll bring you to our homepage where you'll see the subscribe button and you can do this in tiers of 99 cents a month, 4.99 a month or 9.99 a month. And of course, just a gentle reminder, you'll also see a uh, leave a voice message button where you can literally leave us a little uh, a sound bite of you saying hello or say a funny joke that you enjoyed from an episode that you're listening to. I don't care if it's episode 10. Because we can take those and put them in the next episode and be like, hey, thanks for sending us this voice message. And uh, we thought that part was funny, too. And you can be part of the show by sending us voice messages. This is something that we've only done once that we'd love to do more. So uh, and then finally, we will say thank you to everyone listening. We love each and every single one of you. And we will be seeing you you so much next week. Next week, baby. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, y'all. Fuck yeah!